So here uh, I am going to speak about the EKG, especially the EKG change during the electrolyte imbalance. Definitely, um, it is not a class for EKG or electrolyte imbalance, just only showing you what change occur in case of electrolyte imbalance. First of all, in the first picture on the top, we can see the normal EKG. Hmm? The normal EKG here showing the P wave and Q wave and one complex called QRS complex and T wave. The normal EKG contain the waves, interval, segment, and one complex we call QRS complex. So basically the wave I say, wave is a positive or negative deflection. Like P wave is a positive deflection. T wave is a positive deflection. But if you see any EKG, the P wave negative or inverse deflection, this is abnormal. To identify the defect, at least you have to know what are the normal first. And then you can distinguish abnormal from the normal. Right? So, a positive deflection or negative deflection from the baseline that indicate a specific cardiac events. And the wave on N EKG include P wave, Q wave here, R web and ES web and T web, and also in some cases showing U web. So the P web here, it represents the activation of atria, or some books say it, atrial depolarization. If you ask me what is depolarization? Depolarization means the movement of ion across the cell membrane. And second, the QRS, QRS complex here, it represents the activation of ventricles. Or some book wrote, it QRS complex represent the atrial repolarization and relaxation and also simultaneous ventricular depolarization and contraction. Let me ex recap it and let me make it easy. I said P web represent the atrial depolarization and QRS complex represent activation of ventricle and T web here. It is represent the ventricular repolarization and relaxation. If you ask me what is repolarization, it, it means return of the ions to their previous resting phase. Hmm. So now going to discuss about the, what are the change occur in case of electrolyte imbalance. So first one here, when uh, you see hypokalemia, hyperkalemia, hypocalcemia, hyper 
calcimia. So again, when too little potassium, everybody say hypokalemia. During hypokalemia, the change occur, ST segment depressed. So ST segment here, it is positive deflection, but here you see this is absent. We called ST segment depressed and also invert T web. T web should be positive deflection, but it is opposite or inverted T web. Then also we can say Q web that is absent here. So in case of hypokalemia, we can see here ST segment depressed or inverted T web. Different language we use, shallow and flat. It is not deep, shallow, almost flat or inverted T web and also prominent U web. It is pathology. Now go next one, hyperkalemia. So if we do not correct hypokalemia or hyperkalemia, patient develop dysarrhythmias. If dysarrhythmia is not correct, patient develop cardiac arrest, right? And here, important, in case of hypokalemia, basically patient develop metabolic alkalosis. Usually patient give the history of vomiting. In case of hyperkalemia, develop metabolic acidosis. Metabolic alkalosis, hypokalemia, metabolic acidosis, hyperkalemia. But both cases, if untreated, lead to dysarrhythmia. Dysarrhythmia lead to cardiac arrest. Right? What EKG change occur in case of hyperkalemia? And hyperkalemia means too much calcium, uh, potassium. So in this picture, we can see the wide P wave, P wave is wider. And also QR is complex. In the first normal picture is narrow, but here it is bit wider. Wide QR is complex. And also you see the normal T wave and you see this T wave. It is too height. We call tall T wave. Hyperkalemia, I am going to read it. Tall peaked T web, almost flat P web or white P web, also white QRS complex and prolonged PR interval. What next? Next one. Here we are going hypocalcemia. So in case of hypocalcemia means too little calcium. So what change occur? This QRS complex is narrow and also inverted T web T web is flat inverted and also U web. This is U web, this is U web here. So what they wrote, hypokalemia, prolong ST segment, prolong QT interval. But I said 
narrow keywords complex, inverted T web, and also we see U web here in this picture. We can see what next in case of hyperkalemia when too much calcium, we see the Q. RS complex is wider than the normal. So always you compare contrast with the normal one. So white QR is complex and also the T web is tall. T web is taller than normal, right? So hypocalcemia or hypercalcemia, both cases, Especially in case of hypokalemia, we see the positive chopstick sign and positive trousers sign, right? And in case of hyperkalemia, the decrease the deep tendon reflex, the another prominent nature. What next? Now, let me explain a little bit hyponatremia and hypernatremia. What change occur? So, in case of hyponatremia, um, here, I mean, I can see the, here in this picture, you see, this is a normal one again. The P web, normal, positive deflection. And QRS complex, right? And also T web and U web. T web is rounded and also positive deflection, right? And is a U web. In case of hypo. Kalemia, we explained a few minutes ago, what are the change occur? Hypokalemia. So here we see ST segment, you see, deep ST segment here, depressed. Here the ST segment and this ST segment is not same, it is depressed. And T web here, you can see positive deflection, but it is not positive, it is shallow, or we say inverted T web or shallow T web, and also pathological U web. This U web is prominent rather than this one. Compare contrast between these two. Hmm? So in what change occur in case of hyponatremia or hypernatremia? Hyponatremia, basically, ST segment should be elevated. And hypernatremia, patient develop the trachycardia. But both cases, hyponatremia or hypernatremia, both cases, patient develop trachycardias, right? And also the muscle twitching or muscle weakness. So what else next? Here, what about the change occur in hypomagnesemia or hypermagnesemia? So hypomagnesemia patient develop tall T web, but ST segment depressed. In case of hypermagnesemia, prolonged PR intervals and widening QRS complex. So hypomagnesemia or hypermagnesemia, both cases develop dysrhythmia and trachycardia. Especially hypomagnesemia, patient develop the increase the deep tendon reflexes. But hypercalcemia decrease the deep tendon reflex. 
this is um, more about the EKG change during the electrolyte imbalance. <laughs> 